10 anime that could only exist thanks to product placements. It's an article that I've seen for a long time and that I really wanted to discuss with you guys. Product placement is a form of sponsorship that if you don't know that this is sponsored, then you might just overlook it. So looking back, maybe you see something that you haven't seen in the anime and you just think, fuck. Oh my god, yes, it's it's literally Pizza Hut there on the table of Lelouch's desk. <laughs> it's I think it's the episode where they chase the cat as well. Let's see if we can find a clip on YouTube as well. Oh my god, how many Pizza Huts are there? Oh, <laughs> okay, that one I do believe is photoshopped. This, this is a different anime, but they even have the Pizza Hut thingies. Oh my god, holy fuck, cheese kun. <laughs> What is this? How is this so blatant? How have I watched Code Geass like three times and never noticed the Pizza Hut sponsorship? Holy fuck. Let's see. Let's see the others. City Hunter M&Ms. I don't know this anime. This manga franchise revolves around Ryo Saabe, a hitman and private eye who survived government testings and civil war before moving to Japan. In the first few episodes in the series, M&M candy can be seen in multiple forms. The logo even appeared on a toaster. On a toaster? You, you tell me this guy toasts M&M's? Look, now I understand why you need Hitmans in this world. Apparently, the peanut flavor is popular in the show's universe. Okay. Freedom Project Nissan Food. The OVA series was actually created to celebrate Nissan Cup Noodles. It's an OVA series that was created for the project in itself, revolving around the futuristic civilization of people on the moon. Throughout the story, Nissan Cup noodles seem to be the main form of food on both the Earth and the moon. You are telling me that this guy ate cup noodles for all his life and looks like this? Bro, I, I don't know how many calories there are, but I do believe that if you eat like five, five cup noodles a day or just three a day, even with the best diet in the world, you ain't looking like this. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Gucci. Now this, this isn't surprising to me. Jojo has been everywhere recently and not even recently like this designer world and the art world all know about jojo jojo literally had an exhibition in louvre so this doesn't really surprise me jojo and gucci go hand in hand we all already know that araki is kind of a fan of the gucci brand or just high fashion in general so this really comes with no surprise though good for him that he actually had a collaboration with gucci kaon brand name instruments uh, i've known this as well kaon is famous for its integration with uh, brand name instruments instruments can often use real life places and areas of settings in the show so there's often been a sense of realism in the series with shows focusing heavily on music however the series kind of goes back and forth on using real life brands for the characters instruments throughout the show many instruments can be seen with real life logos like gibson fender cork yamaha marshall again a sponsorship that makes sense not like <laughs> code geese's pizza hut sponsorship kara no kyokai hagan uh that's, I'm sorry, I, I can't pronounce this brand, but I do believe it's a, a jam brand. Oh, it's an ice cream brand. Uh, I don't know if this brand is famous, probably. Otherwise, it wouldn't have made it into anime. Macros Frontier Family Mart. Oh, okay, this... This doesn't even look like it's drawn. This just looks like a photograph with some anime characters in there. Family Mart is a popular convenience store chain in Japan with sto uh, stories and uh, countries through Asia, including China and the Philippines. When Macros Frontier had its first uh, theatrical movie, Family Mart stepped in to help with promotions, such as releasing free roadshow flyers. I think it's funny how hyper-realistic this photo is in contrast to the, the anime characters itself. It, it looks funny. Then we got our favorite, Code Geass Pizza Hut. Holy shit, CC! Why do you have a full box of Pizza Hut uh, stuff? Why? How can you be such a Pizza Hut head? There's war in your country! There's war in her country! And all she can do is, is eat pizza the whole day! Holy fuck! Oh my god. She- Okay, she's way too obsessed with Pizza Hut. As an Italian, I'm offended. At least some stone-baked pizza, come on. Code Geese might not take place in our world, yet they still somehow have Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut was even listening in the show's production credits. Lupin the third McDonald's. Yo, okay, that, that shit is just a photo of McDonald's with so many characters in there, come on. In Lupin the third OVA, Green vs. Red, which was made to celebrate the 30th anniversary, holy fuck, what an honor. They put McDonald's in the 40th anniversary of the show, featured the actual McDonald's, making it the first Lupin the third anime to use the actual restaurant's name. Okay, yeah, because I've seen ripoffs of McDonald's throughout other anime series, but they actually use the whole name. W to Lupin the third for the buck that they made with the McDonald's sponsorship. Ghost in the Cell Nissan. Okay, 
See, um, you can have a sponsorship all you want, but if you're making it CGI, then you ain't making the sponsor a favor there, you know? <laughs> anyway, fans are notorious for hating CGI, so... I, I don't know about that decision, Ghost in the Shell. Featuring concept for two Nissan cars. This was actually the first time this car was revealed in the public. Holy fuck! Okay, that's an interesting marketing, t marketing stunt, though. They literally put the car first in the anime and then in real life. Ghost in the Shell truly was ahead of its time with the Nissan collab, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no wonder it's a side. There is also a pun that really helps sell the deal. One of the cars in licensing plates reads 3923. The number sequence is pronounced like thank you Nissan. Yo, that's that's smart. That that's some that's some fine ass marketing if I've ever seen one. Respect to Nissan, my, my favorite big brother. Calimero. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. This is number one. I, I don't know either of those shows. I don't know the show. I don't know the brand. AVA Soap. I don't know if that's some bullshit American thing that I'm too dumb to understand. What is this? In the instance, we have an anime hero who actually started as an advertising mascot. Yeah, I know this guy. I know the mascot. I've seen the mascot. Yeah, I, I've definitely seen this. Is this an anime? Oh, wait. Is this the anime? It's the soap thing, the anime. Oh my god, it's an Italian soap product. I'm I'm sorry. I lit I'm Italian, okay? I didn't know the product. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You can cancel me now. I literally I, I'm I'm so uncultured. I don't even know my own soap. I probably have to soap literally in my bathroom right now. Oh my god. In 1970, Calimero became the star of the anime series from Toy Animation, which originally borrowed the animation sequence from the original advertisement. So basically, this is a character from an Italian soap product then made it into its own anime. I don't know if that counts as a product placement, but it's an interesting story nonetheless. Holy fuck, and I'm Italian and I didn't even recognize this guy. Shame on me. Uh, you can go hate on me in the comments. If you're done hating in the comments, then you can subscribe as well. And if you like more videos like this, leave a likey. Bye.